Hello, my name is Albert Amparan, and I'd like to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about Cisco Meeting Server Closed Captioning. Introduced in CMS 3.4, the CMS enables CMS web app participants to view closed captions during a meeting. A participant configured with permissions to create captions can provide real-time captions for the meeting, and participants in the meeting can view the captions in real-time as well as the captions history in the CMS web app. A captionist can save the captions to their local drive for distribution as desired. This feature is configured via the API. Let's take a moment to see how that is configured. First, we'll see that we can enable captions at the call profile level. At the call leg level, participants are granted permission to provide captions into a meeting. Once enabled at the call level, the call leg profile enables individuals to provide captions. And now that we've seen how it's configured, let's take a look at closed captioning in action. We'll start by joining a space that has been enabled for closed captioning. Notice that there are already other participants in the call. We'll select closed captioning as an option, and you'll notice that there is a location to enter the caption, as well as a location to select the language. And here the captionist would enter text that would then be seen on the screen of web app participants in the meeting. A captionist can also choose to save all of the captions in the meeting. The captions file is stored on a file local to the captionist computer and is not stored on the CMS. Now let's take a look at the user experience for someone that is not a captionist in the meeting. We join a meeting that has the provisioning for captioning. However, we join as a user that does not have the ability to enter captions. You'll notice that once in the meeting, this user has the ability to take a look at the captions. However, there's no way to enter any captions. We've seen how users would see the closed captions in the closed captions window. However, there's another way to see them. If that window happens to be closed, you will see the closed captions in a banner along the bottom of the screen. This concludes our demo of closed captioning, but I'd like to leave you with a few thoughts. Closed captioning was introduced in CMS 3.4. CMS spaces must be configured to permit closed captions. A participant must be configured with the per permission to create captions. Participants in the meeting can view the captions in real time, as well as captions history in the web app. Captions are only supported in CMS Web App, and English is the only language supported as of CMS 3.6.